Ju judging by the, the slow pace thus far, um, I think probably one of the most likely scenarios is some sort of work towards a transition deal. In other words, uh, by, by October this year, the UK has a transition deal with the EU, and which may last two years or thereabouts. And during the subsequent two years beyond 2019, they can then hammer out the details um, for what the precise future relationship will look like. So I'd say that in terms of the sort of hard Brexit, the sort of no deal Brexit, I think that's still very much uh, a risk, probably about 30% probability. Uh, there's so many different obstacles which could sort of get in the way in the last minute. Will Parliament reject the final deal? You know, will there be another referendum on the deal? Uh, lots of legal challenges, you know, possible UK government collapse. That seems less likely now. But I think um, there's so many little obstacles along the way that we could still get there. That would lead to a, lead to uh, a, a no deal scenario. Yeah, yeah. But you, I mean, you could, if you had another referendum mm. or you had a government collapse and an mm. election, I mean, I guess that could play out differently as well. Absolutely. Um, I mean, uh, I think the country is still very divided in terms of what it wants. Mm. I still think the uh, Brexit has, has been much more complicated than most people expected before the referendum. So um, I think, uh, you know, 10 months is a long time. And uh, I think the, the core scenario is some sort of interim deal, but can't rule out the hard Brexit. In, term, in terms of our view on the UK macro economy, mm. uh, the way we sort of see it is that, is that as every day goes past and we get no further real clarity about what's going to happen, uh, that in itself kind of increases the risk that UK companies just kind of just kind of hold their hands up and say, well, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not going to start this new project, open this new factory and, until there's greater clarity. And our view is that UK CapEx is actually going to decline <coughs> this year as a result of that. Now, it held up better last year than we thought. I'll be, be open about that, but that's, you know, we've had a much, much stronger global economy than, than anybody, anybody, anybody thought, and, that, and that's, had, that's had positive benefits. Um, and yeah, and there's probably a long kind of spillover from, from projects that have started earlier, but as we get closer and closer to this date and, and the clarity doesn't, doesn't emerge, um, and now the papers is now today full of, you know, both sides to talk about no deal. You know, it seems to be the seems to be the new the flavor of the month is, is is let's articulate no deal. Well, that's fairly that could be fairly disruptive. I mean, the story today was from detergents to airline, uh, just everything. So many details need to be sorted out, and the risk of a, of a chaotic Brexit seems to be seems to be rising. You know, the, the, the further we go on without the other side knowing what we want. Uh, the, 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 the greater the chance that, that, that so that that is really driving our forecast for UK growth slowing this year compared to last year. It was a complete contrast to every other advanced country, as James has said. Yeah, um, uh, go ahead. So from from a ratings perspective, where we can we have already in, incorporated this into our rating. So James mentioned about the the outlook negative uh, on on the UK rating, but we we published a piece. Um, on corporates uh, recently that kind of went through how Brexit has already started to impact that and spoke a bit about Monarch and New Look and you know, the, the impact that the exchange rate has had, the impact that higher inflation can have. Um, even when we look at you know, nursing homes or something like that, you know, the impact that uh, staff shortages or, or increasing staff costs could have. So we are um, kind of trying to factor, factor the, uh, the consequences of it that we already see in, into our ratings as we can.